Hey everybody, welcome to the nightly vid. Uh, today, D Dog from last night's vid, very nice. Uh, big old four dollar move off the inside day there, and you'll see if you're sitting watching this. There's your T two fifteen here. So notice they poke down, fifteen or hammer reclaim back through previous range. Other side of your range is up there. So you go two two and boom off to the races, and then the daily inside bar break was at one twenty twelve. Very nice move. You'll see you take out this, take out this, take out this, and take out that, and that so pretty nice stuff um outside of that the energies had a gap up sell today which you know for 60 minutes it wasn't bad three two ideally in there you would have preferred to be in here in the morning off the fivers or something you can see that the fiber here rev strat here which does stop you out and then the shooter counter hammer here crater uh and that also triggered a inside 15 here crater notice they do that right on the energy number flip 15 or to trigger three two sixty so you can see what happened I created the try in here, like so, inside bar, and then crater for 15 minutes, and then they were pretty much done. So there was some action in there to get after. I personally did not trade too much of it. Uh, given that occurred, though, there's some relative strength if we try and see them recover that stuff, like Oxy with the rev strap and XOM with the outside hammer day. So we'll see what comes of that. Um, LNG will also be momentum hammer with the bright green month, with the bright green week, 3-2 expansion. So LNG is another one in there. So we'll watch those three, see what they want to do. But we want XLE, we want XOP, we want OIH all in our favor. So if, if we're trying to buy and those are two downs, not a good trade. Um, so we'll see what they come with tomorrow. As far as other things, Amazon had a nice 3-1 today as well as like Apple and Microsoft that type of stuff in the tech so they got moving a bit but really there wasn't much action we still have pretty lackluster stuff going on spies a one doing nothing into the end of the month so far uh if we go to Q's, it's a doji it's full-time from continuity up but it's a doji and then idbm doji dow jones doji so there's just not much going on this week so we're not going to force it too much we got some earnings tomorrow with mu and when the market's doing nothing earnings are normally good let's get started as a gap down it's going to put the weak in force. We'll see what that wants to do. It could pivot machine gun if they stay under these highs up in here. So we'll see. And that tells us to look at the semis for the potential rev strat day to confirm a shooter 2-2 week. Also tells you things like QCOM, potentially just keep dropping off a cliff after the weekend vid. And things like LRCX and AMAT, maybe 2-2-2s to confirm weekly breaks lower. And if you go to the weekend vid, you'll get most of those setups that we talked about over the weekend that you can take a look at. Um, outside of that, though, I don't want to do too much. Really, the best setup is maybe industrials trying to recover off the hammer day here. And then RTX potentially gets going back into that three. And that's about all I can find. So we'll let them do their thing tomorrow. We don't have to be too quick to rush in. But with the gaps and potentially two two down on the spy and the cues, uh, that's something I'd want to know about. So. That'll be your nightly vid. Hope you guys had a good trading day, and I'll see you guys in stat bright and early in the morning. And if you're not in stat, I'll see you guys in tomorrow night's nightly vid.